boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. to deal or no deal the reverberations of zoe's game can still be felt in the dream factory what a lovely lady she came out here told us about an amazing life a life of escapes she'd had a, a house burned down and the family just managed to get out at the last moment worked in a bank and on two occasions was involved in a violent uh, robberies i mean just amazing you could have said she was an unlucky lady but then this wonderful board came and she realized her luck was turning around and when she got to twenty thousand. It all became a little too much, which was particularly relevant to Zoe because her four-year-old son had predicted that she would go away with £40,000. She dealt at 20 and the banker offered her £40,000. Oh. Oh. oh, but the big all, are you ready for this? If she'd gone all the way, she would have been our third quarter millionaire. It was on the table. It was on the table. It would have been painful to get there, but sometimes if you want your dreams to come true, you have to have a little bit of pain. Remember that. Here come the names. So the question is now yours today. Are you too frightened to reach for the stars? Rod. Welcome to your game. Take a seat, please. Rod Eaton from Sheffield, a garage owner. She's here. I'm here. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look. I'm not. Uh, it says in his file that he's dreading the fact that his wife, Jan, will be sitting behind him. She doesn't approve of his interest in gambling, and he daren't look, and he's asked that... The moment I see her removing her wedding ring, <laughs> uh, I should alert him. And that's probably the sign to stop, yeah. is it? That's what it's going to be. Hello, Jan. Hello. So you do like a gamble, then? Yes. Can you sort of, without alienating Jan right at the very beginning, can you describe your gambling? I'm not a heavy gambler. <laughs> I do like to go to the casino now and again. Uh, I'd love to love to go to Vegas, uh, but she won't let me go at the moment. But if, if we win a decent amount of money... She won't let you go. No. What kind of man are you? I'm one of them. <laughs> but presumably, if we manage to get a sizable amount of money out of this game, then basically you can do all the... What do you want? I'd like to travel. You want to travel? Yeah. Right, Vegas it is, then. <laughs> she, she actually said to me, she said, if you want a lot of money, would you still love me? I said, yes, I'd love you. I'd miss you, but I'd still love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good game. The quiet man with a sharp sense of humour. Are you happy to go on? I am, no, yeah. OK, the one bit of confirmation I need, please, Rod, is... Did you choose that box at random before the game began? I did, yes. Box number three and all the other boxes sealed by the independent adjudicator, the only person who knows where the money is. Sometimes he tries to pretend he knows, but the fact of the matter is none of us know, just one person. But, Rod, you're about to find out. Good luck! <laughs> Right, tell you now, I've not got a system. 
I have got a game plan. And my game plan is it's my game until eight box. Right? The game changes and it's not my game anymore. I'll explain that a little bit later. Ooh, this is interesting. <sighs> right. I'm going to get the newbie out of the way. I'll go for Russ first. Welcome, Russ. Deal for Varden all. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, you're lucky to get even a nod out of the newbie. They're so terrified. But we've got a loud one. <laughs> I believe you're Dr. Doolittle. Yes, I, I, I've been called Dr. Doolittle, yes. Okay. You don't have to shout, Russ. We've got microphones. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, you're, you're cutting through. Uh, give us your sheep. <laughs> and a little lamb. Hang on. I, I didn't want the lamb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and the ram. <laughs> Okay, um, so you want to start with it? No, be Yes, please. <laughs> oh, we're going to have problems with him, aren't we? Oh, dear. Talk about building your part. Yeah! Yeah! You, put it, you put it away now. I can put it away now, yeah, thank that's you. That's it. That's it. Feel Feel free to remain silent for the rest of the game. <laughs> Tell. How's the voice, Tell? I'm all right today. It's getting better, much better. Yeah, you should be shared too much. Too. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's like a cartoon character. Wish you uh, luck, Rob, yeah, you're a smashing uh, girl. Oh, no problem. Uh, yeah, I just hope not. It is at the moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is at the moment. Have an all blue opening round. We've not had one of those for a while, and then I'll agree with you, it's very good. Number four, Shirley. I hope it's a blue rod. Or do I? Well, it was all right until Shirley. Come on, Rod. Balance things up now in the next box. No, that won't be good. No. That wouldn't be good. Number 13, Vic. Come on, Vic. Your diamond geezer, Rod. Good luck. Hope it's a yes, blue. Man. Thank you. If you'd started with 10,000, people, yes, would have shouted, oh, that's all right, and that'd be justified. But because you've taken 75 and 35, somehow the 10,000 doesn't look so good. No. Oh, hello again. Ah, yes, I, you know, you and me both. I'm very intrigued by um, it all changing at eight box. He's saying you've always been giving very positive advice when you've been over there, but it hasn't just been that kind of, you know, egg em on. It's actually been quite passionate advice. It's been, it's been heartfelt advice. You've been going, go on, I can... You've been feeling the games for people, haven't you? It's easy when you're over there. Yeah, it's easier <laughs> when you're over there. Yes, and it's probably easier, the banker says, when your wife is not sitting just behind you. <laughs> Even though you've taken some big numbers there, he's valuing your box at £7,500. Very good, seven and a half. Very good. Considering the 75 and 35 has gone, yeah, that's, that's an amazing offer. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm ready for the question. Seven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal, thank, thank you. you. Someone who's 
choosing them at random. There's an awful lot of work going into it. It will come clear. It will come it clear? It will come clear, I promise you. All right. Well, we'll hang on a bit longer then. I'm feeling you. Number six. Shell. You deserve a huge win. You're so nice. <laughs> for Susie, number eight. Go on then, Susie. Okay, good luck. Another blue would be absolutely fine. Go on then, Michael. Another blue, Michael. You're going to go to Michael? You think he's yeah. got another blue? Okay. We are going to take a break, and I'm, I'm actually... I am pleading with you to come back because I suspect you're thinking what I'm thinking. He said he didn't have a system, but he's obviously doing some sort of system. And he's not letting us in. And the temptation is for you to go and do something else with your life right now. <laughs> but please, if only for my sake, please come back and share the torture of this game with me. Please, please, please. I can't do it without you. I don't think I could have done this on my own. This is Rod Eaton. He's a garage owner from Sheffield. What is going on here, Rod? What is happening? You're thinking long and hard about everyone. You're turning. Your lips are going... You're talking to yourself. But you claim you haven't got a system. I don't want to do the mistake that other people have done. It's, it's, it, they've took out a box where they wanted to keep. And I've got eight boxes that I've got to keep. And I just don't want to make a mistake and taking that box out and thinking, oh, didn't want to do that. Right. So, so and is I'm this the reason why your wife has a piece of paper? Yes. I'm, 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 I'm all right so far, aren't I? So you will shout if he goes wrong? Yeah. Right, Rod. A secret, Rod. Are you going to Michael? Yes. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, not going to change my mind. OK, then. I hope it's a blue for you, Rod. Cheers, mate. I'm after that. Oh, a lot of chatting there. I just. I, oh, never mind. Hello. Hello. Have you worked all this out? Yes, they are. Yes. Yeah, well, he says you lot are very secretive, probably the most secretive bunch that we've had. You know, we had Sean whipping his little system out, not telling us on a crumply bit of paper. And now you've got a system backed up by GHQ back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a good opening offer, but... There's too much of a column there. there Until is. you start taking out the low blues, he's not upping his offer. He sticks, however, which is a good result. Yeah, Seven and a half again. Rod, because there's a column of blues there, chances of you hitting them are good. Oh, yeah, to a right, yeah. So, there's another round yet? Oh, easy. The longer we keep him in the dark, the better. Yeah. Well, all of us, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what's going actually, on here. there's quite a few of these that know. Oh, that's nice to share it with them and not the nation. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll come clear. It so, will? Yeah, it'll absolutely come clear. Right, OK, well, we'll hang on a bit longer with you. But, uh, yes, I'm ready for the question now. Seven and a half thousand, deal or no deal. Thank you, Mr. Banker. No deal. Thank you, Rod. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, let's turn this game around then. We'll go with Donna. Donna number nine. Cheeky little swerve. Thank you, Donna. 
hope it's a little one. So do I. One pin, ten pin, be nice now, wouldn't it? I think that would be very, very nice. Whatever happens, it's got to be an all blue round. Five's your mum's birthday. Five's your mum's birthday? Yeah, he's just gone. It's 5th of September, so... Come on, Nora, be, be lucky. Number five. All right. Diane, we want Nora to be lucky. I hope it's a lucky one for you and your mum. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> I reckon it's rubbing off. I reckon Kyle's going to have a blue in his box. All blue, Kyle. You reckon it's rubbing off? I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Rod. You're a good man. Good yeah, luck. Yeah. God, he twitches a lot. Oh, no, we didn't get that all blue That's round. That's not blue. All right, mate. All right. All right, mate. You've got good balls, mate. The quiet man with the mystery system that's left us all baffled can't do a blue round. That was a shame. It is. That big hole. That big hole is possibly going to have an offer in it. But where it is? Hello? Oh, this is such exciting stuff. I, I, I can't remember the last time I was this excited by a game and a player. I think he's frustrated. Oh, that's all right. He says, you might not be telling us anything, Rod, but he's the banker. He's a good man. And he's telling you, £12,000. <laughs> That's a fine offer. Yeah. I do respect the man. I, I respect the man totally. But I don't trust him one little bit at all. I've seen him do nasty, nasty things to people. And if he was that nice, he wouldn't do them nasty things to people. Ooh, Rod. <laughs> Hello again. Rod. Fantastic. He said, finally, you've opened up and you said one of the most touching things he's ever heard. <laughs> what did you say again? I don't trust him. Because he's a nasty man. Yes. But that was the biggest compliment you could have given him. <laughs> he's increased the offer to 13 and a half thousand. <laughs> what a compliment. Ready for the question? I'm ready now. Thirteen and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. That is a fantastic offer. No deal. Thank you, Rod. Uh, lovely Kerry. Hello, Kerry. Hello. Hello. Do you understand what he's doing? Not at all. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Would you care to open box number one, please? I will. Good it. luck. 50k. That is a big hole there, Rod. If I don't look so down, look at them. They are absolutely fantastic. Let's keep them there then, shall we? Let's keep them there. We have number... Be lucky, mate. Number two. Ben. All right, Ben. Yeah, not too bad. No, you? Yeah, good. We're, we're getting closer to the moment of revelation. Eight box. We want to get there with more of these blues out of the way, frankly. Hope so then, Rod. Oh, another red go. It's there. What's I there? I know it's there. What? What is? The big one. It's the there. quarter million? Yeah. You think it's... it's come to the table two days in a row? Yeah, I do, honestly. And because it's my birthday, and 
It's one of the numbers that I wanted to keep anyway. It's it's there. I know it's there, and I'm going to go for number 11, Francis, and get that another blow out of way. Hold it right there, Francis, because we are now going to open box number 11 after the break. And that will, of course, be the revelation. Not the revelation of what is in box three, but the revelation as to what he's been going on about throughout the game. Do come back when his system will be revealed. <laughs> you've come back it's not because of his confidence that the big one is on the table it's because after this box which hopefully Francis is going to open in a moment after this box Rod is going to reveal his system Rod the confidence the confidence is there I can see it yourselves this is the big moment we have waited for the whole game to find out what is it i'll tell you at five box no. No! No! i'm kidding i'm kidding right it, it's not a system it is a game plan that i got eight box was my game i were going with my numbers what i chose to eight box now at eight box it's not my game anymore it's now my wife picked a number, my son picked a number, my eldest and my youngest picked a number. So the game has now been took out of my hands, it's in their hands. And then when it gets to five box, it changes again. But then I'll tell you. It's not complimentary. <laughs> no, no, no. His frustration is tangible. If you don't get the offer right, there are two things going to happen. One, Rod will go on. Two, Jam will throw her wedding ring at him. <laughs> Well, your last offer was what, 13 and a half? Okay. <clears throat> you want to, might want to get down behind the table if you turn this down. Oh, God. 18,000. <laughs> 18, 18,000 pounds, value of the box, described as a ring flinger. <laughs> Things we've done. I think you've still got a lot of blues there. I can't believe I've just said that, but I think you've got a lot of blues there. And the point is? I'll kill you if you take out the 250. All oh, right. <laughs> you've got a lot of blues there. I've got Adam's coming up to college and university. And stuff. it could help him through that. I'm completely baffled by this game. You're the great gambler. She's here to keep you grounded. She wants to go on and you're all for quitting. <laughs> what is going on between you two? I know for a fact if you were watching this and it was somebody else's game, you'd say there's another round in that. You're right, Jack. Yeah, I'm ready for the question now. 18,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. So we have now moved into whose section of the game? 
their section of the game. Their section? Yeah. Th them being? Jan, Adam and Daniel. Right. Your sons and your wife. wife yeah. They've chosen the next, these three numbers. Next three boxes. Okay. And they are? The first one, Jan. 22. 22. Who chose that? Daniel. Okay. Well, the death box. Yeah. Yeah. 22. Okay, Paul. Away we go. Well, I hope it's the penny, mate. Seven. Here we go then, Heather. I'm really hoping this is Blue Rod. Now find one P, and this would be a sensational five bucks. Birthday tip. Twenty. Number twenty. All right, Jason, we still can lose the power and influence out of the game. But if it's the 1P, it's sensational. Thank you. Go on, Rod. You thought it had come to the table. Two days in a row. I did. Was maybe a little too much for many people. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Adam. If you're watching, hi, Adam. <laughs> yes, well done. You've ruined your parents' lives. Well done, Adam. <laughs> punish you now in this configuration at this stage he could really punish you and go below 5,000 but it took guts to decline 18,000 so he'd now like to offer you for your box 8,000 pounds what do you think Jan What did you say? I do not want to go away with a blow. That's the only promise I've made to the boys. The only promise I've made to my boys is I will not walk away with a blow. Rod, this is difficult. I think you need to think seriously about this offer. It's, it's money in your pocket. If you take the hundred thousand out, the game's gone. So it's all or nothing. Think seriously about it, Rod. Your biggest best decision now is if you go on, you've got to take out three boxes and you play and miss the 100,000. You know what I want to do. Okay, 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 I'm ready for the question, no, please. Rod. £8,000, deal or no deal? Forgive me, Jan. No deal. I hope I don't drive in there. Right then. Well, you must now proceed and open three boxes because I don't know what numbers are. I, five boxes again. It's not my decision. I had a word with Dan. I says, if we get to five box and we carry on, you'll pick me three boxes. These are a mystery to me as they are to you. Okay. Twelve. Rob, number twelve. This is a game of survival or failure. There is no middle ground with this. I hope this gamble pays off. Cheers, man. Hope it's a play. Yes. Yeah! Bye. 
it's a shame it's not the 1P. You've got to find the 1P in this round. What uh, was the next one? Aaron, number 19. OK, Aaron. He needs to find the 1P and the £100. We have to survive and keep the 100000 to the end. We've got to believe, actually, he's here on the table. OK, Aaron. Open 19. Book her up, mate. This is the penny. Oh! Bang. Bang. It's gone. And you could now be on your way to becoming the 22nd member of the 1P Club. You're going to have to choose this one, because he chose number three. Ten's his birthday, so let's leave his birthday. So you're going to 17? Yeah, 17. All right, Terry, that, it was just too cruel if this is, in effect, game set and match. Come on. I don't want to be a plonker, Rodney, I tell you that now. I think that might have blown it, don't you? Do you know what I'm thinking, Rod? You could be on your way to becoming the 22nd member of the 1P Club and you're getting there with distinction. You've actually declined some mega sums of money. £18,000 at the top of your game. Hello? Oh, stop it. Don't rub that in. That's, that's very unkind. He was rubbing in the fact and thoroughly glorying in the fact. Glorifying in your comment that you promised your boys you wouldn't take a blue home. I know. He was loving that. Absolutely loving it, Rod. You're going to be the 22nd member of the 1P Club, is his prediction, unless you do take... 22 pounds three figures in your life now 100 pounds 22 pounds or possibly telling the lads you've joined the one peak club i'm ready for the question now right 22 pounds deal or no deal no deal thank you Hello. Well, he's going on there about how actually you've made his day. He's loved it. He adored your system. He really enjoyed it enormously. He would like every person here to adopt your system. <laughs> that way he, and I for that matter, may begin to understand it one day. But for the moment he would like one final cast of the dice to go against you, Rod. Swap or no swap? I always said I'd never swap. Whatever I bring to the team, I'll keep. No swap, thank you. All right. No swap, he says. Rod, he started off down this road with you believing that you were going away with life-changing sums of money. Have you actually achieved the complete opposite? Are you the 22nd member of the Deal or No Deal 1P Club? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Stevie, conclude the game, please. Open box 10. Right, I imagine this is very disappointing because obviously you as a family put a huge amount of effort into this before you arrived uh, what will be will be yeah I'm, I'm gutted at 1p um, but it's, it's going to happen to some people at, at certain times and, but I, I tell you what the, the atmosphere when we get back on the coach when we go back to the hotel and everything it's going to be uplifted because I am not going to get down about this, I'm quite happy I've played my game, I love my wife to bits uh, and nothing not going to change that all right, we didn't take no money, but what will be, will be. Yes! Rod, you are officially number 22. Oh, yes. And come on, please.
this is now confession time from you. You watch Real or No Deal to see the big money win. You watch because you want to see someone go away with a quarter of a million pounds. But come on, admit it. You also watch to see that happen, don't you? You naughty. You'll be with me tomorrow. Bye. Well, Terry's certainly not retiring from TV. Wogan's Perfect Recall, next on 4.